Hi guys, how are you? Today I am going to discuss one important name reaction called the metathesis reaction. Metathesis reaction. This reaction is also known as Groves reaction. Metathesis reactions are of two types. alkene metathesis and enine metathesis in alkene metathesis the general reaction is like two alkene in presence of a catalyst called groves catalyst the product will be that means here exchange of alkylidine groups takes place so this reaction is also named as trans alkylidination trans alkylidination reaction so this is an alkene metathesis reaction and another is enine metathesis reaction in enine metathesis if it is treated with catalyst the product will be in this another examples of enine metathesis this two if treated with the groves catalyst catalyst then the product will be One two three four five. One two three four. The true chemistry of this R is unknown. This will be the product. Another example, like this. This is an ion which reacts with ethylene. in in presence of a catalyst product will be this the structure of groves catalyst is like this here alkylidine group is there and here two phosphorus ligand phosphine ligand this is the general structure of uh, groves catalyst and this can be shortly represented by like this now we will discuss the general mechanism of alkene metathesis reaction so in this mechanism what will happen first cyclo addition will take place the catalyst is this so we represent the uh, catalyst here with a ch2 group the ph is replaced by one hydrogen here a cyclo addition reaction will take place and this will this will form and then it will decompose in this way so that this two will form and after that another alkene where the groups are r2 we started with r1 
and here another alkene which is R2 group will again form a again cyclohydrazine ruin reaction will take place and this intermediate will be formed and then cycloelimination will take place in this way to form the product that is the product plus catalyst is formed again this will be involved with another alkene that is this to form a cross product of this so in this way the reaction will take place now we will discuss the mechanism of enine metathesis let's say one reactant like this and the catalyst is this is the catalyst now it will undergo cycloaddition reaction with this in to form a four member ring so here this will be formed now it will undergo cycloelimination cycloelimination here cycloaddition so if cycloelimination will take place then one styrene molecule will be removed here ph ch ch2 will be removed and the product will be this now it will undergo an intramolecular cycloaddition with this ion so here again a five member ring will be formed here will be a double bond now a cycloelimination will take place this is the active catalyst here now it will again it will enter into a catalytic cycle uh, that is it will react with another molecule of reactant this reactant so here a cyclo a four member ring will be formed sorry this is y r now from this again cycloelimination reaction here cycloaddition took place and now cycloelimination will take place so it will be like this and here one molecule of product will be will form so it will be here one r is there and it here will be a double bond so double bond ch2 and one r is there so this is the product of this reaction if this molecule undergo enine metathesis we will describe the catalytic cycle of this uh, mechanism and the remaining will be a ruthenium this it will again undergo cycloaddition intramolecular cycloaddition 
so a pipe member ring will be formed here will be a double bond and when elimination will took place then the catalyst will be regenerated this catalyst will be regenerated and it will again enter into catalytic cycle the product will be formed in this reaction so this is the mechanism of enine metathesis now we will discuss the previous year question that came in different competitive exam one question which came in 2015 December CSR UGC net exam which was like this here two allyl groups are connected this compound is treated with Groves catalyst catalyst was this the product A is formed and then it is treated with LIL H4 lithium aluminum hydride the B is formed then what are A and B so as you can see that uh, here the olefin metathesis will take place so this and this part will be this alkylidin part and this alkylidin part will be attached and a 1 2 3 4 5 6 member ring will be formed so A will be So here will be a double bond and here will be a keto so a will be this and if it is treated with lithium aluminum hydride then this is an amide if an amide is treated with lithium aluminum hydride then h minus will be given so R C H O minus N H two then it will coordinate with L H three so R C H O A L H three N H two R C H double bond N H two plus then another H minus will be given here and it will be converted to RCH to NH2 so an amide is converted into RCH and amine and amine so here this uh, uh, structure of B will be this only and another question that came in December 2016 UCCSR net exam that was this compound was treated with Groves catalyst CL CL product A is formed and which then treated with this diester hit B is formed what will be the product now as you can see this is a double bond and triple bond so this uh, the product will be from an enine metathesis reaction so from enine metathesis here the product will be a pi member ring with this we draw the mechanism here from this reaction we got the product this 
now here the only changes are the hydrogen is replaced by uh, the r is replaced by one hydrogen here the r is replaced by one hydrogen so the product will be same as this here the r will be replaced by hydrogen so a five member ring will be formed it will be ch2 only so this will be the product a now it if it is treated with that diester this is a very well known reaction diels alder reaction will take place this is now a diene and this is dienophile now here what will be the orientation of this uh, dienophile endo or exo endo or exo as there is a electron withdrawing groups uh, are there so it will be an end orientation according to the endo rule what is the endo rule the endo rule is that if uh, an electron withdrawing group like cwt and cn groups are there then the endo orientation will be favorable because of secondary orbital interaction will take place here so the stoichiometry of the product will be here six member ring will be formed and the pi bond will be here and cwt group will go below the plane and the hydrogen here one hydrogen is there these two hydrogen will go above the plane so here the hydrogen will be above the plane and two cwt groups are here so this is the product b so guys if you have any doubt regarding e9 metathesis please let me know in comment box and to get such interesting videos subscribe my channel thank you have a good day